Mass reading on Saturday of the 6th week of Easter, 11th of May, 2024. First reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles. After staying in Antioch some time, Paul left and traveled in orderly sequence through the Galatian country of Phrygia, bringing strength to all the disciples. A Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, an eloquent speaker, arrived in Ephesus. He was an authority on the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord and with ardent spirit spoke and taught accurately about Jesus, although he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wanted to cross to Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples there to welcome him. After his arrival, he gave great assistance to those who had come to believe through grace. He vigorously refuted the Jews in public, establishing from the scriptures that the Christ is Jesus. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Let your response be God is King of all the earth. All you peoples clap your hands, shout to God with cries of good gladness. For the Lord the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. Response God is King of all the earth. For King of all the earth is God, Sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. Response God is king of all the earth. The princes of the peoples are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. For gods are the guardians of the earth. He is supreme. Response God is king of all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. Alleluia, alleluia. Our Gospel reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, Amen, I say to you, Whatever you ask the Father in my name, He will give you. Until now, you have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have told you this in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. On that day, you will ask in my name. And I do not tell you 
that I will ask the Father for you. For the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have come to believe that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now, I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection in today's Gospel We may lose the conviction that it is worthwhile asking for what we want in prayer. Jesus awaits our asking. Full-hearted asking of God always brings a gift in return. It may be a specific grace or petition we ask for, or it may be simply the deep support from God that enables us to cope and to grow even when life is difficult. We have often come to God with our prayer, asking for what we need and for the needs of others. We take some time to consider how God has answered our prayer, allowing our joy to be more complete by recognizing and appreciating and giving thanks. Jesus still expresses himself in pig figures of speech. There are aspects of his presence in our life that we do not fully recognize, that we seem to be unable to comprehend. We allow Jesus to place us in the presence of his Father who loves us and we dare to consider our life from his from this perspective. Jesus drew us right into this life, fully and generously offering us the relationship with his father that he was. If we can recall prayers that we made the past we may be able to recognize how they were answered. We ask God to bless our recollection and perception. God bless.